Let's focus on news from the United States that President Donald Trump plans to end India's preferential trade treatment under the GSP. Joining in to assess the impact is Ajay Sahai, the Director General and CEO of uh, FIEO, the Federation of Indian Exporter Organizations. Uh, Mr. Sahai, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what we understand is that about $5.6 billion of exports are made under uh, the GSP. Is that understanding correct that we should be hurt on agri meat shrimp exports? You are perfectly all right. Uh, let me put the things into perspective. GSP is fundamentally on a non-reciprocal basis, and U.S. is linking it with the concession on dairy products, medical and diagnostic equipment, IT and IT products. So fundamentally, U.S. is wrong on that side. Uh, you have rightly put that uh, our total exports uh, to the U.S. is around $35 billion. Out of that, around $5.6 billion was under the GSP. But net gain in terms of tariff to India was just $190 million. So it is not a big gain to India under the GSP regime. Though I do agree that it may hurt some of the traditional sectors of exports, and we need to look into that closely. But we also need to keep in mind that uh, the GSP benefit is also helping the U.S. companies and making them more competitive. At the same time, the finished products which we are exporting, which is being imported by Walmart, Carry4, and many others, mm. are definitely helping the consumers of the U.S. So it is not that U.S. GSP benefit is only benefiting India. Mm. Of course, it is, does benefit India. But there are other constituents which are very important for the U.S. who are also benefited by the GSP. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sai, good morning. So, ending of this preferential trade uh, treatment will not impact some of the larger pockets, right? Like pharmaceuticals, IT, etc. No, in fact, I personally feel that uh, we have to be a little careful with some of the traditional sectors of export, particularly those who are, who are labor intensive. Uh, I, I feel that for the rest of the sector, they may be able to absorb the GSP loss. But for these sectors, government may come with a scheme which offset the losses of the GSP when exports take place to the U.S. So there are considerable options which are open for the industry. I, I do agree that for traditional sectors, we have to be a little careful because they are creating huge amount of jobs in the country. And if the U.S. export is affected, it will impact the job scenario also in the country. Oh, yes, that's certainly a very big social issue. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sahai, for joining us. I assume that today you all will be meeting... Uh, the government and uh, we will yeah. get a better idea of what the government's response is. Uh, yes, it's more likely a social issue uh, in India because uh, all these uh, animal husbandry and uh, handicrafts mm -hmm. which could get affected are labor intensive and that can take a toll. Well, uh, with that, I think we have to go to another break, but uh, it's time now. We studied the charts. In a minute, we're going to be joined by Ashwini Gujral, Sudarshan Sukhani and Mitesh Takar.